Zoom Monarch Hood Adjustment, take five. Okay, so how to put the wire in the hood. First things first, tools you will need. Some bead wire. This is very, very thin. I would recommend something heavier, like maybe a 0.6 or a 0.9. That will help you a lot. If you do not have a sewing machine or don't know how to sew, I would recommend using this stuff here. It's called Heat and Bond. Uh, I'm sure there's something very similar to no matter where you're at. You can find this at any um, craft or fabric store, Heat and Bond. It's an iron-on uh, glue, basically. You place this between two pieces of fabric, hit it with an iron, and it will seal it shut. Okay, so the first part of this is going to be how to get this guy apart without making a total mess, uh, which I learned the hard way on this. So first thing you want to do, orf of his head, take out the shoulder pauldrons, put them to the side. Believe me, it's much easier than having things fling off and then trying to find them. Chain. I recommend taking off the hands and the arm armor just because, well, you'll see in a moment when you try to get the, uh, the things off. It's very easy. It's, it's not, a, not a difficult um, customization at all. So pop off these ones here. Okay. The belt. <clears throat> Take a sharp object like this. Not too sharp, I wouldn't recommend an exacto knife because you could cut it. It's a little blunt, you know, it's not stabbing me. Um, letter opener or any other tool you might have will be good for this. Okay. Lift gently. This is a piece of pleather, it's not very tough, and you can damage it easily. Okay. Once you get those two pieces out, pull a little bit this way, look it comes loose, lift this part up and it will slide out. Grab a hold of your holster so when you take the belt out, it doesn't slide off somewhere and get lost. Now, the first tricky part, these are little plastic snaps that are in here. Plastic snaps are very delicate and you have to be careful with them because they will break and then you're just going to have to kind of make sure that it stays in place by itself and that's a pain. So take your sharp edge here and again, very gently as you do this, you want to just kind of pry in there. You could probably use your fingernail. See, there it is. See, there's a little tiny plastic nub here that fits inside there. It's very easy to break these things off. Okay, to get this off, pull the hood forward. Take your fur collar, pull the fur collar over the hood, like so. Then, Take your cloak, pull the hood through the cloak, now the hood is separated. Flip Mr. Victor over here, now you have two snaps in the back, again same thing, just carefully pop them open, like that. Now this is why you took off the arm armor. Push the arms forward, and now you can gently, again fabric's a little stretchy, but it's still delicate. You can pop this off. Here you can see the bodysuit. Now, while I'm here, I'll discuss this. <clears throat> I had planned on doing a uh, body swap with this because the Doom Monarch is actually kind of short for Dr. Doom. Um, Dr. Doom is supposed to be six foot seven in his armor. And um, yeah, he's not. He's more like 11 and a half inches. So he's more along the lines of uh, probably about five foot five compared to your other figures and mm, maybe five nine and it might make you a little irritated when you pose them next to somebody this is interesting though like this piece here this is the magnetic part that the head attaches to like this and all it is is one solid piece that you can again gently lift off and you can see body to use underneath it. It's a typical, it's a muscular body, but it's 
Again, a little bit short for a proper Dr. Doom. Okay, now we can place this to the side. <clears throat> We're going to look at the hood. <clears throat> the hood itself, I've already stitched this. Now, what you do is you take this thing. It's, it's a very weak glue that they fastened this with. You can take like your letter opener and put it in between here and you can just gently lift this and it will come apart very, very easily. Once you have that hem open and it's opened up like this, it's going to be very, very easy to work with. Now, again, if you have a sewing machine and you know how to do it, it's going to be uh, very, very simple because all you have to do is put your wire in, fold it over and stitch around the outside edge. If you do not have a sewing machine, that's where your heat and bond comes in. Okay, so you take a piece of this, you put it out here, and you're going to cut it with your X-Acto knife or a sharp pair of scissors. But you only want a very thin strip. Talking about an eighth of an inch tops. You don't need very much. And what I would recommend is that you do this in sections. So I'm going here, this is about an inch and a half maybe. You can see it on the, the little square here. Each of these is an inch, so this is about an inch and a half. <clears throat> You'll see, and what you do is you take your bead wire. Uh, where did I have my little sample piece? Okay, there we go. Again, this is a little thin. I ended up tripling mine up. Uh, I eventually went with uh, floral wire, which I think is a little bit too heavy, but it works for, for my needs. Okay, so what you do is you take your wire and you'll lay it inside your um, hem. And my wire's coming through here, which is not the end of the world. I can fix that pretty easily. So you take this. One thing I will recommend is that you ball up the end of your wire so that it doesn't poke through. If you have sharp points, it will poke through. Just feed it all the way down here inside the hem and you'll fold that piece over. See, mine's already folded because it's hemmed like that. Okay. Now, when you're using the iron on this, be very, very careful. This is a synthetic fabric. It's very delicate. It will be very easy for you to burn through if you have your iron set too high. So be conscious of that. It's very, very important. <clears throat> you take your piece of heat and bond and you'll place it right here on the edge of your hem and then fold the hem back over so that this piece is sandwiched between the two pieces of fabric right here. Get it in place. Again, work in very small pieces. It should take probably about like five steps like this to get everything in place. You don't need a whole lot and this heats up and melts pretty quickly. So all you'd have to do is put it in there, hit it with your iron, let it cool for a second and then it's going to be nice and set. Then you take your next piece and you just move up to the next piece of the hood and the hood is pretty easy to work with. <clears throat> you can see you can just keep moving around You've got plenty of room to work with to get all the way to the other side. So you just take several pieces of this. It should probably take you about five of these. I think the, uh, the hood is about six inches long if you were to measure it out. So it's not really that big. Okay? And that will do it for your, um, for your hood assembly. It's very simple, and you can just kind of adjust it a little bit like that. Well, we're not going to worry about that too much because next we have to get our buddy here dressed up again. <clears throat> so first thing you want to do is slide the arms in. Again, gently, even though it's pretty stretchy, you don't want to take a chance on damaging this unless you feel like replacing the whole thing. It's a great looking figure. It's just it's a shame. It's just a little too small. Okay. Now... Take your hood, your cloak rather, lay him down on the cloak. Take your hood, push the hood through the cloak hole there. Check out your snap. Take this, 
this part here that's on the tunic, pull it over a little bit so you're pressing on the armor itself. So it's not sitting in between the chest pieces. It'll be a lot easier to get into place. Line that up. It's very important that you line this up. If not, you, it's very easy to snap this little stem off and then you have another hole problem. That's done. Take your fur collar, put the hood through the fur collar, okay. pull the tunic down a little bit because I don't want him flashing his cod piece. Pull this around in the back. Again, line up your snaps, gently push them together. Don't try to force it too much because you will snap it. Not in the way you want. I don't recommend doing these too often because they're not very sturdy and they do break easily. There we go. Okay, now while you have him on his back, take your belt. Lay your belt across where you're going to want it. Keep the holster part on this little reinforced section here it will move around and it's a lot easier to adjust before you buckle it because it kind of sticks together a little bit all right now you fold this over get your buckle <coughs> in place where you want it first <coughs> that's important okay now you take your two ends here like this and you can just slide them through this way now hole, guide in the little stems into the holes. Now it's where you're going to need your tweezers. One at a time, take your tweezer, lift this side, push it through. You can push it through this and the little strap here. Pull it through here. Take your other piece, lift, push it through, pull it through. Now your belt is set. Okay. Now you're ready to start putting the armor on again. You just go in reverse. You put the bicep armor, the elbow armor, the forearm gauntlet, and then the hand. Clicking in place. Other arm, bicep armor, elbow armor, the forearm armor and the hand. Shoulder pauldron. Shoulder pauldron. Put his head back on. Lift his hood up. We'll adjust that in a second. Put his cloak chain on, like so, and you're set with your new and improved Dr. Doom with his hood, you can set like that. And there you go, pretty easy. Uh, Assemble your tools first. Make sure you take all the pieces off. Get everything in place first. Do not um, force things. Do not push too hard on because it, it will it will snap. But overall, it's a pretty easy uh, pretty easy fix. Hope you found it helpful.